All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. We about to get right into the video. Somebody asked me, what's the quickest way to get your finishing badges? I'm gonna show, I'm gonna tell you and then I'm gonna show you. The fastest way to get your finishing badges is this. Gotta catch alleys, to me. And obviously dunking on the fast break and getting contact dunks and stuff like that, but from what I've seen, I've done all these things and the fastest way that I was able to get mine was to just catch alleys over and over and over. Just like the fastest way to get your playmaking badges is to throw alleys, and there's a way to do that. If y'all want me to show y'all that, man, y'all let me know. But the fastest way to get them is to uh, is to catch alleys. And the, the easiest way to do this, man, you see the floor right here, come down, tap L. Sometimes you gotta tap it twice. He's gonna come set a screen for you. If Rondo doesn't go to the rim, Oh my God. Okay, so I shouldn't have been talking to y'all because you got to call that fast. When you're coming down the court, uh, before your guy gets to the hash, you hit L. Uh, L1 or what is it? L1 on PlayStation or uh, left bumper on on Xbox. And I'm going to show you what happens. Get that out of here. Okay. All right, bet. This is how you do it. Coming up the court, cross half court, double tap L. This is going to happen. He's going to set you their screen. Backdoor lob. If Rondo would stop being... Okay. Here we go again. He's going to come set me the screen. I'm going backdoor lob. Lay. You should be able to do that every time. It takes a little while to get used to it. I'm going to show you another way you can do it. Obviously, once they start double teaming and stuff like that, you can just cut straight to the rim and all that good stuff. But that shot out of here, boy. I say get that shot out of here, boy. I say get... Bro, why you fouling? You killing my video. But look, that's the way to do it. Super easy, super simple. I don't think you have to overthink it or anything. So if you just came for that, just came, you just came for that, you got your answer. Make sure you leave a like on the video and all that. I'm going to keep on going because I got to show you more. It wouldn't be me if I didn't show you another way, right? So that's way number one. Come down court, double tap L1, go to the spot. He's going to set you the screen, back door, lob. Nine times out of ten, you're going to be able to catch that. I don't know why they're guarding me so disciplined at this moment. But because I'm a... Well, actually, I do know why. Because I'm a center and I'm not taking the right angle that I'm supposed to be taking. All right? So, I'm going to show you that one one more time. If you got a guard, you got to double tap L. And then that sets up that play. If you got a guard, it's going to be way easier. And you got to do that off the ball. But I'm going to show you another way to do it. You know how I showed you guys the, the way to get your shooting badges where you where you come in and uh, you know you call for the screen. You can do that same type of thing with this. And I've thrown so many lobs that that's what they're looking for right now. So I'm gonna show you one thing that you can do that you can do as well. All right, as soon as they stop showing the cuts, bro, we don't care about no cutscenes. Can we get, I should've, man, I should've edited this video. Okay, look, here we go. Standing at the hash, double tap L. We got the play. He sets the back screen. I'm going. Throws the lob. Lay. Every single time. But you got to come up the court. You got to do it before you get too far up the court. You got to come and you got to stand at the hash. I'm going to show you that one one more time. I'm going to show you two more methods. And then you know, we're going to get up out of here. That shot out of here, boy. All right. Show y'all that one one more time. Sometimes you got to balance the floor out. You see where he's standing on that wing? I know I can't go there. Double tap L. I'm here. Wait for him to set the screen. He's gonna set it. I'm going wide. Throw me the lob. He's right. That's a contact dunk. Oh, his ass. That's right. They should have. They should not have made me do that. He should have. You know, double triangle for the lob. Either double wide or double triangle uh, to call for the lob. But y'all see how easy that is, man. I think Brute had put a video out about this. This one method one time. And uh, like I said, super dope. Uh, if y'all don't even know who Brutus Sam is, man, y'all need to go check him out, Brutus Sam 42. Go to the spot on the floor. He's gonna come set, hey, I want another one. I don't want it right there. You can always call for it again. Here they go, they are gonna set the screens. Boom, back door. Lay, play. Yeah. If you see that spot on the floor and it's not, that shot out of here, boy. If you see that, when you see the spot on the floor, obviously that's where I'm going to, right? 
Double tapping L or left bumper is gonna put the spot on the floor. If you see the spot on the floor and you don't like where it is, just double tap it again, it'll call it again. Double tap it again, it'll call it again. You're gonna get the double screen. But this is what I wanted to show y'all. So that's way number one. Way number two to do it is, um, it's a little bit more difficult, but you can start doing this uh, just depending on, like if that if you don't like how that works out and or you feel like they're running the play, let's say it comes down and they don't run that play and uh, you want the ball or you want to do something like that, that's why I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do, do the one where if you already have the basketball, you can do it. This one is kind of like what I was doing the other time. So let's say you're the guards, you're coming up the floor, you got the ball. You're gonna come here. Okay, okay, you see how they're gonna do this? It don't matter what play you call, because after that, after, once they start double teaming you, um, you can really just cut to the rim. I didn't know they were gonna double team me right there. So if I'd known they were gonna double team me, all they, they always wait until you call the play so you can't pass out of it, so they try to make you panic. It's just it's just the programming just tries to, I, I don't understand why they do stuff like that. If you're doing the right, if you're doing um, Dwayne Deadman, I mean, I guess he can shoot some now. If you're doing it the right way, you don't even got to worry about it. Like you can always come here, set the screen, and then slip the and then slip the screen, right? So you can always come set the screen and slip the screen. That always works. Uh, if you're if you're that's if you're a big man. So, but obviously a lot of people aren't big man. That's why I showed y'all the other method first. Now, if you're not a big man and you're a guard or something, this is what you're gonna want to do too. All right, if they let's see, if they double team, they're not gonna double team me, right? So here we go. Call it for the guard. Call for it. Pass it to him when he did that. You see how he lay. Bro, get out the paint. All right. All right. I'm, I'm about tired of this. I'm about tired of this. One more time. Says Dwayne Detman want to stand in the paint. We're going to call for for him to for, for him to, to come set this. He sets it. Detman's out of the paint. Lay. I can't catch passes though. That's the problem with this. I got a shooting center. I got a shooting center. I can't really, I can't really catch these lobs, man, because I got a shooting center. It is what it is, though. But that's probably the, those are the best ways to do it, man. Like I said, the easiest way is the way that I showed y'all in the very, the very first break. Double tap L, they're going to set the screen, you go baseline, and, uh, and you'll get it. The other way to do it, get the ball, call for the screen, see who down there. We're gonna call for it from, from Dwight. Get to Dwight, I'm going baseline, lay. Y'all understand what I'm trying to do? You try to pull, if the center's camping the paint, you wanna pull the center out of the paint, and then you um you just tap the button that corresponds with him to give it to him, or you know you just tap the button in their direction to give it to him, and then, then you can, you can you can run to the baseline and call for it. This is probably one of the worst tutorials I'll ever put out, man. But it just sucks that the computer wants to wants to mess with me. Get to the white. Look at that. Lay. Y'all understand what I'm doing? I'm calling the screen. I'm calling for the screen for the center to uh oh the way that I'm passing it to the white too is I'm um I come off the button and then I tap the button I tap Y toward him. I tap the button that corresponds with him toward him. So I just get the center out of the paint. Let's do it one more time. Cause like I said, if you're a guard, you're gonna need this. Guard. Come up. Left bumper, right bumper, L1, L2. Call for the person. Give him the ball. He's gonna be there. Throw the lob! Dwight, what are you doing? Alright, call for the screen. Get to the white. I'm gone now. Throw the lob! Stop shooting! This is the only bad thing about it. The Lakers so trigger happy that they want to shoot the ball every time. You ain't gonna be able to get it every time, my guy. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But you'll get it enough to where you're gonna get enough points. And I've run this play so many times, this game, that they don't, like like right now I'm gonna run the back door. Like right, boom, here we go. There's the screen, throwing the lob, late. Oh my God, but see they own the play now. Hopefully at the end of this game, you'll be able to see how many of these, and I'm only playing on five minute quarters, so you'll see how many of them I was able to do. It's not gonna work every time, I'm telling you that right now. I'm not gonna even sit here and and do a video. Left bumper, right bumper, like I said, pass it to, pass it to him, he's out the paint. 
throw the log late. You can throw it to anybody, but you just want to you want to tell the center to come set the screen. So the way that you do that, le hold, while holding the ball, left bumper, right bumper, hold triangle, or whoever's standing in the paint, then you can pass the ball to anybody. You cut back door, you can go too. Or you can come straight up, double tap, left bumper, or left L1, whichever one it is, and then you double tap that. They're gonna set you a baseline screen. You just go baseline, double tap triangle, and you can get to the rim. 99-9 uh, that game, bro. Every everything. Look at this alley oop, alley oop layups. I got uh, what did I get? 3,500 out of that. So, like, you can get way more. This is on five minute quarters, and I didn't even complete all of them, right? So I I, I got all of them except two. That's 3,500 points. Um, to finishes, I don't even think they got nothing. Posterizer dunks, I got one of those. I mean, those are cool, but it really just feels like, it really feels like catching the alleys, dunking on the fast break and all that good stuff like that really works the best. But that's the easiest way to do it. Either double tap L1 while you're at the hash, let them set the screen, you go back door and throw the lob, or you hit you L1, uh, left bumper, and then right bumper, and then it's gonna bring up the screen or it'll allow you to call for the screen while you have the ball. While you got the ball, tell the dude to come to you. When he comes to you, throw the ball to him or throw the ball to somebody else, and then you just go baseline and do it. I normally call the center or whoever's standing in the middle of the paint to tell them to come set it, and then I do it. But y'all should get that, man. Y'all let me know if y'all like, if, if y'all enjoyed the video, man. My guy is already pretty much maxed out, man. Um, like right now, what we at? 98.9 so that's what we at right now that's what i'm doing this for now just getting myself to 99.9 and uh i'm just playing my career for the vc like i said i had all my badges maxed out in like 30 some odd games man so i mean it's real easy do the method do what you gotta do it's real easy man if y'all got any questions y'all want me to do a video on something else let me know man but i'm out of here till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ god speak holla I ain't signing no autographs, man. All y'all some chumps. That's right. Y'all Queen, y'all Queen Sacramento Queen fans, you chumps. No, I'm just joking. I'm gone though, man. Shaq said that a long time. I'm not worried about the Sacramento Queens. I'm gone, man. <laughs>